A rectangular storage area is to be constructed along a side of a building. A security fence is required along the remaining three sides of the area. What is the maximum area that can be enclosed with 676 feet of fencing? We can tell this is an optimization problem because the question is to find a maximum. So we're trying to optimize area. And that's actually where I want to start. We want to write our area function and figure out then how to maximize it. So we want the area for this enclosed space. Well, the area can be defined as length times width. So let's assign two variables to our rectangular space. We have a horizontal distance, which we'll label X, and then we have a vertical distance, which we'll label Y. And what do we know about these two distances? Well, when we multiply them together, X times Y, we get the area. And that's what we're trying to maximize. So area is X times Y in our figure. Now, what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and take our first derivative. But before that, we'd like to rewrite our area function in terms of one variable, either X or Y. How can we do that? Well, we're going to use the rest of the information in the problem to help us achieve that. We are told that this area is going to be enclosed with 676 feet of fencing. This tells me a little bit about the relationship between the x's and the y's. In fact, if I add another x to the other side, I can very quickly see that that length of fencing 676 is actually equal to the distance of two x's and one y. So 2x plus 1y of feet is equivalent to 676. And this expression or this equation and relationship right here is what I can use to help get my area function in terms of one variable. I think I want to solve for y. If I solve this equation for y, that tells me that y equals negative 2x plus 676. But more importantly, that gives me a substitution variable for my area equation or area function or area formula. That is, I am going to substitute in place of y, and I'm going to rewrite my area in terms of just the letter x by doing the following. In place of y, we're going to put negative 2x plus 676. That simply means that the area in terms of x is negative 2x squared plus 676x. Now I'm set to go. I want to find a maximum, and how can I achieve that? Well, I take my first derivative and set it equal to 0 to find the critical points. So we're going to take the first derivative, and the first derivative of this function is going to be negative 4x plus 676, and then we want to set that equal to 0. So we have negative 4x plus 676 equals 0. Continuing to solve gives us that negative 4x equals negative 676. Dividing both sides by negative 4 gives us that x, our horizontal distance, is equal to 676 divided by 4, which is 169 feet. Correspondingly, if I wanted to evaluate y, I would go back up here and use my relationship for y. y is negative 2 times 169 plus 676. In other words, 169 times 2 is um, negative 338. And adding negative 338 to 676 gives us the following 338, actually. So y is 338 feet. These two values I'm claiming and hoping give me the maximum area. And how can I triple check to make sure? I want to make sure that this is in fact an, a maximum point. 
because I've taken a critical number, I've set my first derivative equal to zero, I wanna verify that it's a maximum. There's a couple ways to do this. One way is to simply look at my original area formula and notice that I have a negative 2x squared, which is an upside down parabola, which means that critical number will be a max, right? So one way is to just use my brain and notice, okay, I have an upside down parabola, so this must be my maximum. A second way using calculus would be to use our second derivative test. So we take our second derivative. The first derivative is negative 4x plus 676. So the second derivative is just negative 4. And specifically, the second derivative at any point, including 169, is just negative 4. When our second derivative is negative, it tells us we're concave down, just as we had evaluated being the upside down parabola. And because we're concave down, that means that critical point is in fact a relative max. That tells me that I have maximized my area. And the length of the side parallel to the building to make that happen is 338 feet. The side perpendicular, right, perpendicular to the building is my x value, which is 169 feet. And finally, the maximum area of the storage area. Hmm, well, to get the maximum area, what do we have to do? We have to take 169 and multiply it by 338. So pulling out my calculator one more time, 338 times 169 gives us five, no, excuse me, gives us 57,122 square feet, square feet this time, because we're measuring area. And that's it. We have answered the question, what is the maximum area that can be enclosed with the 676 feet of fencing?